I had some half decent sales on auction last week. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Polish Pete and I'm eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. Uh, I've got another what sold video for you today, but before we start, if you are interested in this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. So guys, uh, I had some half decent sales on auctions last week uh, and straight away total sales for the week look a bit better uh, also i've almost hit my 12 quid average sale which is good as well so i've got 26 uh, sales for you today and the cutoff point was 7.99 so anything cheaper than 7.99 didn't make it to the video so last week meaning from monday the 10th to sunday the 16th of april we have sold 41 items for a total of 489 pounds and 28 pence. We had 10 orders in the bracket 5 to 10 pounds, including postage. 24 orders in the bracket 10 to 15 pounds. 5 orders 15 to 20 pounds and 1 order over 20 pounds. And I believe this one, this was the multi-item order, I believe, which we had one containing two items. Uh, nine items sold via promoted listings, which has costed us three pounds and twenty-eight pence. In terms of weekly goals, like I've said, uh, I've almost hit that twelve quid average sale. Obviously, with uh, uh, per item per order, it was over twelve quid. We've listed hundred and sixty last week. Mostly, uh, we put them to the scheduled listings i think we all we put them all to scheduled listings basically uh, 41 sold instead of 56 and 489 taken instead of 590. so first item that has sold last week were those mns casual trousers size 24 we've sold them for 8 pound 50 as an offer to a watcher plus 380 postage on top and customer has left positive feedback already uh, this Ocean Club Summer Strapless Maxi Dress size 8 has sold for $7.99, a bit of argy-bargy of a customer, but then I thought, yeah, it's a size 8, it's strapless, and it's basically Primark. So I said, you know what, just take it for $7.99 and yeah, uh, just get rid of it, push it out, take the money. This winter t-shirt, unbranded, oh, yeah, no, no, it's not, it wasn't unbranded, uh, it's TU or TU, or however you want to call it. Uh, winter t-shirt top, quite nice pattern, to be honest, nice, beautiful flowers. Uh, size 20, so the best size ever. Uh, £8.50 uh, as an offer to a watcher, plus postage on top. This MNCO blouse top again size 20, so the best size ever. $7.99, full asking price, uh, plus postage on top, and positive feedback received. Uh, Cotton Traders skirt, beautiful skirt, nice flowery design. Uh, this was on auction. Customer came with an offer. I countered with $8.50, and the lady took it. So $8.50 plus postage. This Rogers and Rogers blouse, uh, size 22, it was kind of uh, biggish for a size 22, but that's what the label said. Uh, $7.99, which is good for Rogers and Rogers. Uh, $7.99 plus postage. This George flannel shirt, size 20, 22, that was estimation. Uh, I think so, at least. Or maybe not. No, it was 2022. Anyway, this George flannel shirt, 
uh, was on auction and has sold for $7.99. This is what customer came with as an offer, $7.99. And I have accepted it. And guys, I want to say one thing. This is a classic example of what I preach all the time. You sell one item and the algorithm starts to look for something similar. Guys, I've sold this flannel shirt. I maybe had five flannel shirts altogether in my shop. And I have sold four of them. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you three of them because one was cheap, uh, below seven ninety nine. Anyway, I've sold four out of five, and honestly, I can't remember when was the last time that I have sold flannel flannel shirt. So yeah, as soon as you sell thing, algorithm starts to look for something similar. If you've got something similar in your shop, algorithm will start to push it out. Next was this Peruna midi skirt. Uh, the asking price was eleven ninety nine. It was an auction. A lot of argy bargy with the customer. Uh, we ended up at nine fifty, which is all right. Nine fifty plus postage. This Dorothy Perkins A line midi dress. I had it for a while, and I finally managed to sell it for. 10.99 plus postage. This River Island button tunic top, it was on auction again. Customer came with nine pounds uh, offer, which I have accepted. So nine pounds plus postage. This Jaeger button, button tunic, uh, this came in a bale, as far as I remember. $12.99 as a asking price. Customer came with some offer. I countered with $10.99 and lady took it. So $10.99 plus postage. This white stuff, A-line skirt, quite nice to be fair, but only size 12. Uh, we had it for $11.99, then markdown sale down to 10.19 and offered to, to a watcher for 9.50. So 9.50 plus postage. This yours uh, top was size 30 to 32. I believe it had a massive hole. That's why the low price 5.99 on auction. Let's have a look. There you go. A massive, massive, massive haul. But customer still didn't mind the haul. Uh, she came with an offer of 850, which I have accepted. But when accepting the offer, I sent her a message uh, if she realized that there is a haul in that item. She never rep replied for that message, but she paid. So hopefully uh, she won't be mad when she uh, will find that hole. This per una one shoulder fit and flare dress size 14 has sold for $16.99 as an offer to a watcher plus postage on top. Uh, these uh, m and workwear trousers, they were size 22. I think they had still tag, yeah, but they were they weren't in a best condition for an item that is with tax, so I still listed it as used. Anyway, seven ninety nine for these as an offer to a watcher plus postage on top. This River Island flannel shirt again. Uh, this was on auction nine ninety nine asking price eight fifty. Uh, settled down to the customer at eight fifty plus postage. This capsule t-shirt, size 24-26, sold for $7.99 full asking price plus postage on top. This Laura Ashley t-shirt, I had it for a while. I think I didn't sell it last summer. Uh, this time it has sold for $7.99 plus postage. This Mountain Life outdoor jacket, size 16, has sold for 
999 plus postage. This fat face trapez dress size 10. It was only size 20, so you I'm not going to get like 20 quid for it. Uh, $14.99 as an offer to a watcher, which I'm very happy about. Plus postage on top, obviously. Uh, this uh, Jerry Weber or Gary Weber, I don't know if he's a German or not. A midi skirt, size 20, so the best size ever. Has sold for $14.99 on auction, one bid, paid straight away. Uh, this item, A-line pleated midi skirt size 16. Uh, this was an auction as well, two bids, $7.99 as an asking price, then $8.49 another bid, and it, it ended up at $8.49 plus postage. This select pencil skirt is size 14, again on auction, one bid, $7.99, uh, I think, she paid on Sunday, I believe. This Jacques Vert uh, A-line midi skirt, size 20, again, the best size ever, sold for $12.50 as an offer to a watcher, plus postage on top. And this Marini, or Mar Marini, uh, Mar Marni, Merni, M Merni, not Marini, Merni, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, it was a skirt size 14 with wool, wool, silk, and a few other bits. It's not like that wool was like 80%, I believe. It was like, yeah, 50% wool and 27% silk and nylon on top. Uh, anyway, this has sold for $12.99 as on auction, one bid, postage on top. And the last item was this Shane or Shein. I don't know. It, apparently, it's Shein. Uh, I always call it Shane. Uh, doesn't really matter. It's size 16 dress, $9.99 plus postage. So how much have we earned? Not much, really. I had to refund... Uh, I had to refund, I believe, two returns, if I'm not mistaken. One for sure. I believe two of them. Uh, so eBay has transferred me only uh, 327 pounds and 66 pence. Also, it was that like that because the Monday before yesterday, not yesterday Monday or two days ago Monday, the one a week before, it was an, I had a really really good sales that I shown you in this video, and that money has been paid out last week. If you know what I mean. And this week, this Monday, uh, it was very, very poor. I only sold one item. That's why there is a, just a very few pounds uh, came on this payment from like Monday sales. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It all evens out. Uh, so 327 pounds and 66 pence transferred by eBay, sold 41 items. So at 250 each, that's 101 pounds for postage at one pound each. That's uh, 41 pounds as a cost of goods, uh, which gives us 168 pounds profit, which is a bit better, but still not okay. Uh, we had sales on every single day of the week. So our counter counting days since last zero sales day is now on 106. And last week on one day, I believe, on Tuesday, we had to wait really, really long for the sale, but we had it like 9 p.m. So the, the counter, uh, we didn't have to re reset the counter thanks to that late sale. I've almost finished uh, listing items that I've been photographing when I was in UK last time. I think one more week on the main shop and everything will be listed. And then I'm going to jump to the second uh, shop, garbage shop, and then another week, maybe a bit more. And that should be uh, done as well. Uh, next time I'll, when I'll be in UK, I will con I'll concentrate on different things. And I don't think I'm going to photograph any significant amount of things. However, I still uh, will photograph something. 
uh, yeah now I have to concentrate really on pushing that bad stock uh, that I have bought last time I was in UK and slowly start to move towards large sizes only at least in the main shop as this will make a massive difference in terms of how quickly things are selling basically yeah that's it for today guys i hope you found this video interesting if you have please don't forget to click that like button also if you want to support channel further and you haven't subscribed yet consider doing so i'll see you next time have a great week god bless you all god bless people of ukraine bye bye